I think I can. I think I can. I hope I can. Good God. Well, here we go. Oh my gosh, wet, muddy. We're going to be slogging through some of it. That means that I don't know what about six seconds from now my boots can weigh 20 pounds a piece. How's that for groovy, huh? That's cool. <laughs> so, we're going to do some looking again for a few minutes. See if we can find something. We've had some rain, had some this dirt should change. I can already see more gravel and rock here at the start. So, stay tuned to the mouthiest hickbilly you ever meet, DW Burtz. It's Hickbilly Outdoors. Let's get our mud on. <laughs> Okay, this ain't gonna be nothing, but I'm telling you, right here is where I was standing when I did my intro. I take a step this way, stood here, went here, and it's more than just a, a flake, I think. So, yep, look at that. Wow, it's a thin, broken base. Look at that. Two steps, maybe three steps in. That's kind of, that makes you feel good right there. Speaking of feel good, I'm, oh golly, I'm three and a half weeks on a sick. It ain't the COVID. Well, you know what, if it's the COVID, whatever, let it, let it do its number. It ain't going to bother me. <clears throat> it's upper respiratory, just coughing. Some days are better than others. Tuesday, I split a couple quarter wood. I mean, with a splitter, but I worked wood, felt good all day. Wednesday, I couldn't hardly breathe, coughing. Thursday, decent. This is being a Friday. I can still feel it in my chest. But I'm out here. I'm out here for you guys. I'm out here for me. This field is the same one I was in the other day that has not all been turned over. I mean, there's a line right there. Um, but I'm trying to make sure I beat some of the poachers in here because there will be trespassers. I'll, I'll find boot prints in this field sometime this year. So I'm going to look as I go as he turns the dirt over and as rock becomes available. But like this rain and the weather, we've had had a foot of snow this last week. So some of this dirt is broke down now. And even where the uh, field hasn't been worked, the visibility is substantially better than it was uh, two months ago when I first walked up in here. So, man, I don't think I'm brave enough <laughs> for that. I've been walking on mostly the unimproved ground and haven't tracked a lot of mud yet. That's fixing to change. But man, that is a toad strangling, goat swamping mess right there. Squish, squish, squish. Oh, that. What is that? Is that something? Please. Oh, Lord, please let that not be something. Oh, my gosh. I got to go look. Oh, my gosh. Of course, the debitage is, as always, just everywhere. And found another kind of a broken piece a minute ago. No, I, that ain't nothing. I, I can see better from here, I think. Good gosh, I got to check it out. I mean, just look at this stuff. It's just everywhere. The things you got to do. Of course, I guess if I die doing this, I get sucked down. Sometimes we'll have a recording of it happening. That might make a good YouTube video for someone. No, it's just a... Man, it's hard walking for a fat boy. No, it's just a flake. <laughs> Now I'm over here. You know, the beauty in rocks made me a rock hound when I was in, man, early grade school. I just fell in love with different kinds and colors of rocks. I did a science project once doing a scan of all the rocks in Missouri. But I just picked this flake up and it's just, I hope that camera shows, it's just gorgeous. I'd love to find 
something that was made out of that piece right there. It's an interesting banded, oops, banded shirt. If I had to share that, that sucker's just perfect purdy. There you go. That's all the soft stuff you're going to get out of me today. That might be an ad. And it might not be. Let's see what we got. Nope. Big old broken core. Yeah, this is fun. I tried oil in my boots once. A guy told me to try that. I, I can say it worked better. Oh my gosh. But still, it's just part of it. It uh, slogging through the mud keeps us honest, I guess. You're all the time trying to think what to show people or what to talk about. Haven't found any real points yet. But check out that fire rock. Three pieces of it in a row there. It's that red rock. It's turned red because it's been near a campfire. You can do it yourself in your backyard in a matter of days. I just find it interesting that it's all right here in one spot. So, they're overlooking that big old creek bottom. This is one of the places maybe had a fire. It was right through here somewhere. Of course, over the years, the implements and things have moved it around. But three pieces right there together, I sound pretty close to a fire ring. Or same thing over there. Same thing up there. It's just one of those things I look for. It can happen naturally, too, I guess. Forest fires, whatever. But It's another broke, and I guess I gotta get over this showing people brokes. So I think people find that boring. Big old broken base or something. Almost completely quartz. And actually, that is set like that. That's the. Oops, I'm all out of focus here. Sorry. Broken base. That was the way it said it was a big one at one time. I can't even tell what type it was. Busted about three different directions. I gotta get over this broken base stuff. It's boring for people, but that's what I got so far today. A couple more brokes I just found right next to each other. A kind of a base and an end. You can tell by the cross section in them, by the way, if you want to know for sure. Um, this one in particular, Purdy Lithics. Look at that, kind of a peach end on it. Look at that. Like to find the rest of that one. Never gonna happen. Been broke. Well, you know what? That is a modern break. I'll call that modern. That break is the same patina color as the outside of the rock. Shiny, purdy. That's a more modern break. Yes, it is. You know, actually, most of my find are ancient breaks. But, so maybe someday I'll keep that. And who knows? How's that for? What a find! Oh my gosh, epic. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Live action. Ugly, ugly ads, but live action. <coughs> I was actually trying to do a little silent footage for an intro, just me walking around picking at flakes and walked up on that. So there you go. I mean, it ain't much, but still, it's mine. I cannot find my camera today, save my soul. When your head gets fuzzy, or my head gets fuzzy, I get lost. That's all there is to it. But that's an ads, for sure. Worked all the way around the edge, very sharp still. Cool. Yeah, I was just uh, walking around, kind of trying to do a silent intro thing where I'm just picking up pieces because there's so many of them through here. I mean, there's more stuff buried. Look at that pretty thing. Look 
at that pretty pink and white and a pretty bright white and blue one so there you go so I'm watching other YouTube creators arrowhead and artifact folks and watching artifact addiction the other day great channel and then find a bunch of paleo stuff and coyote arrowheads and others all good people and they've shared really nice things with me a little rapport going on the interweb I start feeling like maybe pressure to produce and I think all the good hunts I've had over the years it's going to happen when it happens if I get the time to put into it obviously I don't have the best places in the world but I obviously don't have the worst so I'm out here slugging in the mud hoping for hoping wishing and praying for one good one and if my content is boring compared to theirs so be it I'm not letting that bother me I mean there's a bunch of good folks out there that have been very supportive of me being new at this and this is not about anybody but me this is my meditative time this is my hobby passion I had it way before the interweb way before YouTube so I'm just going to keep on doing it hope those guys keep putting out great content because I'm going to keep watching and who knows maybe I'll have one of my epic hunts someday the heck is that? That's just weird what that is. It's been hit on. It's ugly rock. It's never going to nap good. Just what were they thinking? That rock does not have near the right mineral content to nap. That was just weird. But anyway, so said so many other channels I put, I need to upgrade my list. You look at my homepage here and I have other channels I subscribe to with way better artifact hunting than what I provide. So you guys might want to go look at those if you haven't. <clears throat> okay, another rambling point real quick. I've been doing this since I was nine years old, seriously since high school. So I got a few years under my belt. And the, the, I showed a little bit ago the lithics, the colors, and cool stuff. And once in a while, about once a year, I'll find something that I've never seen before. And this is pretty much one of those somethings. As far as the lithics, the color, and the banding in the rock, I don't have a clue what that is. It's probably not any sort of artifact. It's been napped on, so I guess it does technically make an artifact. We're going to pick that thing up, though. I don't know. That is just the weirdest, coolest color. And it's a broke, broke ads, a broke preform. Let me... Get this thing in one of these nice warm puddles. It's always cool to have water nearby. There ain't nothing beats a pretty shiny. Oh my gosh, this sucker got prettier. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's pink, clear, kind of a blue, kind of a peach, a little red, purple. Oh my gosh, people, look at that. That sucker is a gorgeous, broken whatever. You know what? It ain't broke. It's worked, it ain't broke at all. It's just all they ever got out of it. Look at the whole edge has worked all the way around. That is a trophy to me. Golly. Hope this is focusing. That is the prettiest son of a buck I've ever found, I think. Man, gosh, that thing's cool. Well, there you go. See, those are the kind of things, because I'm such a simple guy, that's the kind of thing that makes my day. That. I've never seen a rock that color before, so cool. Just a, a small porcelain church, isn't that pretty? Nothing else except it was done by man. Well, I'd like to look up there and see a big old Dalton sticking up. Would be a no-brainer to brave. Except I can't hardly walk in this good stuff. That'd be so cool. Well, look at that. 
that? Another broken base, I think. Interesting. Well, <clears throat> yeah. It's notched something. Boy, it was ugly. It never was a pretty point, but look at that. And the lithics I'm finding today is just mind-boggling. Matter of fact, it gave me an idea for another boring video to shoot for you guys someday. A video on lithics and colors of rocks. That one has some pink in it, some clear. Still has a bunch of cortex right there. Just a real thin amount, but got some cortex. So I'm going to do a video here someday on my lithics and kind of some thoughts I have on why, what's, where, and whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I think I can. I hope I can. Wow, right now I just hope to survive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that was a challenging hour, hour and 15 minutes. And as always, I didn't find a lot of stuff, but I found a few things. And that is one of my favorite fields, so I'm going to keep going back to it. I'm telling you, though, probably a half of 1% or less that field's been turned over. So I'm looking at a lot of stuff. It's like finding a needle in a bucket of needles. There's just not going to be a lot of luck there. But uh, it'll get worked on. We'll get the timing right. It'll be better. Not to mention, you know, there's other places to look. I'm just saying, someday I have other opportunities found a real nice harden point right about there last year so there's other places to look it's what it is pretty day but i'm still a little soft in the head softer than usual in the head and here in a few hours we gotta open up my restaurant for the evening so i'm gonna go take a little break before i head up there so there you are i'm dale verge thanks for following along guys if you like it subscribe if you don't let me know how bad i really am i'm gonna keep on rambling out here in the hills of the ozark plateau Bye, y'all. God bless you.